Alright, so I've got to tell you about a mate of mine that I have that I think uh, has been fucking about. Not treating me with respect, right? So anyways, he's always getting me to go places. He's always getting me to, uh, right, follow him about. But I don't think he's being honest with me. Take a, uh, Let me tell you a story, right? So about a week ago, uh, I'm sitting around and my, this mate calls me up. He says, mate, you've got to come down here. I've got some, I've got some, I've got some women for you, right? He tells me he's got some chicks for me, right? He says, mate, they are mad horny. They want you, mate. And I'm like, I say, okay, well, I'll come down. It sounds great, but where do I have to go? He says, uh, well, I'm at a laundromat. And I said, the laundromat? What? What, what, what are you doing at the laundromat? <laughs> what are you doing at the laundromat? And he says, mate, I've got these chicks here, mate. Don't worry about it. And I say, all right, I'll come down to the laundromat. He says, wait. He says, wait one second. You've got to bring laundry. And I'm like, why do I have to bring laundry? Just so I can meet these women, right? He says, uh, mate, because if you don't bring laundry, they'll know why you're there. They'll think you're just trying to take advantage of them. You gotta bring laundry, make it seem believable, right? So I'm like, alright, I'll bring some I'll bring laundry, right? It's no problem, it's no problem. But he says, mate, wait. Don't bring your laundry. He says, mate, you gotta bring my laundry. And I'm thinking, what? What is this? Is he a twat? Why do I have to, is he a twat? So I say, mate, why do I have to bring why do I have to bring your laundry? He says, mate, trust me, I'm doing you a favour. You don't want these these are some quality chicks here, mate. You don't want them seeing your your laundry with your underwear and your dirty socks. He says, mate, bring my laundry. They won't know, they'll think it's yours, but in your heart, you'll know. That they're not seeing your dirty laundry. It's not a good way to make a first impression. So I give it a thought over, and I think, right, that's a, that's about reasonable. That's about reasonable. So I grab his laundry and I go down to the laundromat and I walk in there, and I say, I, I, I see nobody fucking there. It's like, it's like well too late. So I walk over to the uh, the guy who owns the place, and I say, mate. Have you seen a, a, a mate around here? Right, me. Have you seen me mate around here? He's like, looks not a bit of a. He's got like a kind of like a this. And he says, oh, no, I don't. Why would I know? Uh, I'll just. I'll I haven't seen anyone. And I'm like, all right, mate, shut the fuck up, because you're not helping me out, right? And I and I call me mate, and I say, mate, you said you was at the laundry. And he says, oh right, yeah. Now I'm not at the laundry anymore. Right, they uh, we had to leave, mate. We had to go. I'm real sorry about that, but the, the manager there is a real prick. And I said, oh, I talked to him. I thought he was a nice guy. And uh, he says, no, mate, he's a well fucking prick. So we left. We went to uh, we went to the gas station. We went to the petrol station. And I'm, I said, so I got to meet you at the petrol station. He says, yeah, mate, meet me there. And I'm, I'll drive over. He says, no, 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 don't drive over, right? Not in your car. He says, mate, you've got to bring my car. My lorry. To the petrol station. I'm like, mate, why do I have to do that? He's like, my car is way... It's cooler. Right? It's like, well, fucking awesome, my car. And I said, well, we... It's not that impressive. Right? It's a... It's, a, it's not a 98 Ford Escort. He says, mate, just bring my car. So I get there, no women. I call him, and he says, mate, well, while you're there, why don't you fill it up for me, right? Just just top it off a bit, would you? Just top, what did they say, would you? Just top it off, eh? Just top it off, mate. So I talk to him again, right? And I'm like, this is the final fucking straw here, mate. You've got, there's three strikes and you're out, right? So I talk to him about a day later and he says mate you've got to come to this club right it's called club nitrogen or something he says mate you've got to come to this club mate there's some women here and they want you so badly mate they are like Ugh. so I say mate I'm not falling for that one again right I'm not falling for that he says he says what do you mean falling for I said, what do you mean what do I mean falling for mate 
I said, last time they, they were ruses. All you got me to do was do your laundry, fill up your petrol. So I say, mate, I'm not coming down. It's not, it, I, I don't know what kind of chore you're going to get me to do at Club Nitrogen. But it's not fucking worth it. And I'm not going to be made a fool of. Right, and that, so I didn't go. And I actually felt, actually, in the long run, made the right decision. Because as it turns out, while Club Nitrogen was in fact a real club, it was that very night that the whole place caught on fire and burned down. Actually, everybody inside died. Yeah, right, I did feel a bit bad about that.